The ocean is the next frontier of development and an important source of society's wealth. So it is a critical time to build society's capacity to deal with future challenges and potential conflicts like maritime security, exploitation of marine resources uh, and so on. So based in Cork, one of the largest natural harbors in the world, we are in a unique position to provide direct access to the Center for Marine and Renewable Energy Ireland. Uh, and we also work very closely with the Irish Naval Service uh, here in Cork Harbour. The degree has been developed to give you the right platform to succeed in the field of marine and maritime law. So you will benefit from gaining analytical, problem-solving, research and communication skills um, required to meet the demands of this very competitive sector. The course also provides you with a unique combination of academic and professional skills employers are looking for. The LLM is targeted towards both professionals and existing students and builds upon your previous career skills and backgrounds uh, rather than just providing textbook learning. We attract students with diverse uh, career backgrounds in shipping, business, um, defense services, natural resources, both in law and policy, and from all over the world. We offer a part-time option and deliver our seminars and lectures regarding the blended learning approach, where we try and combine in-class settings with online resources to provide you even more flexibility. Before coming here for my Master's in Marine and Maritime Law, I studied law as an undergraduate degree and then I went on to qualify as a barrister in solicitor in my country, after which I finally came to Ireland to UCC for my Master's in Marine and Maritime Law. Besides the fact that the program was really affordable compared to other places, um, UCC is the only university in Ireland that offers Marine and Maritime Law and the modules under the courses are really, really attractive. Like you learn things like port law and maritime law, law of the sea in general, global maritime security, and all those courses were like things I really wanted to know about. So the program was um, really attractive because you get to see both the practical and theoretical aspects. So aside from the fact that you're going to be taught in classes, you get to see the experimental aspect of it. So you go and see and you get to see everything you're taught played out. So the highlights for me was the fact that, um, the aside the practical aspect of the course, which was really an eye-opener for me, I also found that, that I was able to conduct um, coursework research, and the research work actually helped me develop my research skills. The program was really good and very instrumental in building up my research skills and my love for research. So presently, I am a PhD candidate at UCC. I am carrying, a carrying out a research on marine and human rights. So it's just two aspects of international law and I'm, very, I'm just looking at um, trying to advance um, the application of human rights at sea. Outside income students expect everything they want to know about marine and maritime law, um, the environmental issues and um, everything about law of the sea. This program is particularly good for both um, students and professionals uh, because it's a very good way to know about the industry, the maritime industry, globally and locally. So you get to interact with good um, present actors in the maritime field. So it gives you a more networking opportunity and a very good, yeah, good platform. Our graduates are employed in a range of senior positions, both at a national level and in international organizations, uh, at ministries, in uh, uh, defense forces, also in legal practice and commercial enterprises. And when we look in terms of Ireland's contributions to the institutions of Law of the Sea, back in 1982, one of the most remarkable institutions, the Law of the Sea Convention, was crafted. And Ireland had a key part in that. In fact, I think the diplomats involved were called the Margineers. They actually crafted the institutional arrangements that now govern our commission limits on the continental shelf. In many countries in Africa and beyond, countries are expanding their jurisdiction and they're extending their area where they have sovereignty and sovereign rights. But the key issue is sovereign rights that are not upheld are more imaginary than real. And that's why the maritime security and defence dimension in terms of the LLM Maritime and Marine Programme is so important. It's a programme suited to uh, legislators, it's a programme suited to defence students, to naval officers, to individuals involved in the Coast Guard. And anybody that has a function in terms of the maritime and marine will be well, I think, placed 
based in terms of attending this programme, but it has a broader application. Anybody who studies law, whether it be in, let's say, land environments or marine environments in terms of ecosystem governance, will find this programme of value to them.